My name is Jeff Yu. I am many things. I am a student, a researcher, a son, a boyfriend, and I am also a pole dancer. I've been pole dancing for two years. I train five to six days a week, and I train two to three hours a day. The feeling of winning a championship, uh, like a national competition, it's still incredibly odd saying, I'm the best male pole dancer in Canada. It's just a phrase I don't think anybody would ever think they would say to themselves or to other people. Um, but the experience was, you know, it didn't even matter if I won. I, I went for the experience more than anything else, right? I wanted to make my studio and my instructors proud, and I've always felt that way. It's great doing things for yourself, but it's even better doing things for other people. And you gotta have more than just you, 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 and that's what competing has been for me. Jeff inspires me because he's tried something completely new that is still controversial, even for women still. And uh, he's uh, making a name for himself. He's pioneering uh, for men in Canada. And uh, when I think I think I feel that things are hard for me, and then I think, well, Jeff has a much larger barriers. Yeah. Within Canada, I think that male pole dancing is a lot smaller, and that's where it's going to take some time to grow. But over the next five to 10 years, as the, there's more male competitions and there's more male pole dancers coming about, it'll, it'll grow and people will start to look at pole dancing as a sport that can be for any gender. So, my way is a Most of my instructors are female and thus all the moves are geared towards a woman's body and I do not have a woman's body, I have a man's body obviously and I've had to sort of adjust those moves to fit my body type. I, I work with what I've got um, and I feel like sometimes I, it creates something else altogether for myself. I, I create maybe not uh, a different move but a variation from the move and I just sort of make it my own style. Jeff inspires me. Um, right now, the moves that he did in his last competition are my current goal moves. Jeff is always thinking of new things, new transitions, new ways he can power himself up the pole. And it's just so exciting to see someone bring that much innovation to the sport. When I first heard Jeff start pole dancing, I was a little skeptical because I didn't associate pole dancing with a sport that you can just pick up such as basketball or martial arts. So when he first started, I wasn't sure what he was going to get out of it or if it was going to be a positive influence in his life. I was going through a rough time two years ago. I was actually dealing with a breakup and I had lost 30 pounds in a month. And I figured it was just time to take care of myself. He stopped being self-destructive. He started eating healthy and he was going to the gym five to six days a week to train to be able to do what he does now. So he's living a healthy life now. So I, yes, I agree. It's a really good and a positive thing to happen in his life. When I tell people my boyfriend is a pole dancer, most of them are really, really surprised because it's not really common in this society. But I always try to show the videos to him to show how amazing he is and to turn the different pers perspective to people. I think initially when he came in, he was just all about just learning the moves and having fun and you know the social aspect. Um, but in the last probably six months or so, he's really put a lot more effort into the training aspect and really wanting to better himself and really focusing on the sport and the competition side of things. What appeals to me about pole dancing is that I'm able to take all the different sides of me and really pull it all together into one unified final project. I get to be creative, I get to be physical, I get to play essentially, and I get to have something original in my mind and show the world what I am really capable of. 
my life like before and after I started pole fitness and everything, before I was way more sluggish, now I'm way more active and mentally alert. Um, I feel like uh, before I was very just contented with everything that I sort of did. Now I'm much more determined and not as satisfied with the results that I have, even good ones, because I personally know I can do better if I just put in that extra effort, uh, where previously it was like good enough kind of response. For those people that say that, you know, I'm just having a bit of fun with pole dancing, it's just a phase. I don't think it is. Uh, I can't predict the future, obviously, I don't know. Um, but just knowing who I am, uh, the amount of dedication I've asserted to it, the amount of time and energy and, and you know emotion into it, it, this is something that's gonna stay with me, as well as it's a great way to stay fit. I almost don't wanna leave the sport because I don't wanna let myself go. Um, this, when, when you find something that you love, you know it, you know it. Uh, people might try to deny it or it might not work or people might leave things because it doesn't work in their life. Well, guess what? If you left it because it didn't work in your life, you weren't passionate about it.